Hello everyone and welcome to the Comparison Operators Lecture. In this lecture we will be learning about comparison operators in Python. So these operators are going to allow us to compare variables and output a boolean value. We've already seen a few of them throughout the course, but now we're really going to dig deeper. And if you have any sort of background in math, these operators should be pretty straightforward. So if I look at the Jupyter Notebook that corresponds with this lecture, I have a table of comparison operators and then a couple of examples uh, for most of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom in into this table and just tackle them one by one. So the very first one operator is two equal signs in a row and what that means is if the two if the values of the two operands whatever the two objects you are comparing are equal then the condition is true. So in this case a uh, equal equal b is not true but if a equal equal a was written then that would be true. So as long as these two objects are the same, then equals equals will output true. If they're not the same, it'll output false. So moving on, the opposite of that is exclamation mark equals. So that means if they're not equal, then the condition becomes true. So this statement basically says A is not equal to B, which will output true. Another way to write this is with a less than and a greater than sign back to back. So that's the same as this operator right here. But in most cases, I would encourage you to use exclamation equals mark. That's what most people use. Okay. Then as far as like greater than or less than or equal to, etc. So for this symbol right here, this means greater than. So A greater than B. And then similarly, you have less than. So A less than B. And depending on which the values, so for instance, numerical values, you can say is 2 greater than 1, that will equal true. Is 3 greater than 10, that will be false, etc. And then if you want to do greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, you just add an equal sign to those symbols. Okay, so let's go ahead and see these guys in action by jumping over to the live code. All right, so comparison operators. Go ahead and dive in. So remember we have the equals operator and we can go ahead and play with that. So I'm going to say 2 equal equals 2. Is that true? Yes it is. So 1 equals equals 1. Is that true? Yes it is. What about 1 equals equals 0? Well that's false. Okay. So now let's go ahead and practice with not equal. So switching to not equal. Remember that was exclamation mark equals. So is 2 not equal to 1? That's true. Is 2 not equal to 2? That should be false. Remember we have the other way of saying it, which isn't as common, but we can still use it, which is the less than and greater than sign put back to back. So is 2 not equal to 1? That's true. Is 2 not equal to 2? That's true. Or I mean, excuse me, that's false. 2 uh, does equal 2. Okay, so like I said, mentioned, the more common ways of the exclamation mark equals sign. So moving along, we're going to now go with greater than. And that's just going to be 2 is greater than 1. That's true. Is 2 greater than 4. That's false. And similarly, we have less than. So I can say 2 less than 4 and 2 less than 1 that's false and then we have greater than or equal to so I can say is 2 greater than or equal to 2 yes because 2 is equal to 2 is 2 greater than or equal to 1 that's also true because it's greater than 1 and I can also do less than or equal to so is 2 less than or equal to 2 yep is 2 less than or equal to 10 yes it's less than that so that all works out Okay, so hopefully that should have been pretty straightforward. If you have any sort of math background or basic math, uh, this greater than or less than sort of operation should just pretty much make sense. If you have any trouble with it, you can always go back to this Jupyter Notebook and read the table in more detail in case you need any, need any uh, refreshers on what these comparison operators do. All right, so that's it for this lecture, and I'll see you at the next lecture. Thank you.